Hey there beautiful creatures, uh, I'm Kayla, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, this is a Halloween video. Um, if this is the first one that you're watching, I am medicated, caffeinated, and welcome to the show. Subscribe, hit the like. As you know, the holiday of Halloween is coming rather quickly. Oh, my nose is running because it's cold outside and I have my window open and I'm excited about it, but um, I'm doing this like DIY sort of Halloween look that is super simple. Um, my hair, I just put some braids in. Okay, I'm going to do like this dark elf type of thing situation. I don't know. I'm doing a thing. But I've got, um, this is a, <laughs> it holds your shirt together and this is an earring. And I just made this like a little crown and I put a couple of braids and I just pulled it back in a clip like this. But the main part of this is going to be the makeup, which I haven't attempted yet. So we're going to see. Um, de -dum -dum -dum. I wanted to use my new Elf um, I See You palette. Do I get it open? Come on now. There it is. It's like this purpley blue tone. I want to do like this purpley blue smoky eye. And we're going to start with a fluffy brush. I'm not going to uh, prime or anything because I kind of want this to be a dark Elf look. <laughs> So we're going to leave the under eyes and the imperfections, okay? I do need a mirror, though. Let's use this one. I'm going to dip into, I think, the darkest shade first right here. And this is just a little wet and wild fluffy brush. Now, I've never used this palette before, so we're going to see how this goes. I'm going to start... I'm going to create basically like a blue kind of smoky eye. Oh, I like this a lot. This is what I wanted. Oh, this is pretty. I'm going to do this one over here. I'm excited for Halloween this year. I'm always excited for Halloween, but we're doing our game night this year. Um, I have a group of friends that we get together periodically and play games and eat dinner and just catch up and bullshit and, you know, that type of stuff. Have fun, relax. But this year we're doing Halloween, so I was like, I'm going to practice a couple Halloween looks. I'm going to get something like this, and my friend Cassidy, whom I will link in the description below to her channel, she's doing um, this, like, random generated makeup look for Halloween. It's going to be fun, so I'll link her down below. Poke her and encourage her to do it. Okay, I'm going to go back into that dark shade again, and um, I'm going to start putting it here and kind of... Building up that color. A little darker. Same on the other eye. Ooh. Don't know if you heard that or not. I live in rural Oklahoma and it's hunting season, so. Excuse me. But I honestly think that somebody dropped something, but around here, you're not you're never too sure. Okay, and so we have something like this. I'm digging it, I'm digging it, I'm digging this palette thus far. Alright. Now I'm gonna switch to a different brush. I want like a flat packing brush, which this one, this one, this is an elf, see how it's kind of flat and dense and wide for packing, the shadow on, I'm going to dip into the darker, purplier 
of the two shimmers. This one's more like a satin. I'm just going to load it up on one side of the brush like this. I'm just winging it with this. I kind of have a rough idea of what I'm doing. But we're going to we're gonna see. And I'm going to put this on this outside part here. And start blending it with this. I wanted to add just a little bit more of the purple tone to it instead of just the bluey. Oh yeah, like that. I'm gonna use the same brush, same side, and I'm gonna dip into that next lightest shade right here. Or it's not really lighter, it's just a different, it's shimmerier. So we're going to pick some up on the brush. And I'm going to put it right about here. And back. And then slowly start blending it forward. Pick up a little bit more. Not a whole lot. I'm just wanting to add that lighter blue color, the shimmer. Like so, like that. And then I'm going to take the brush we started with and not add any more product. And I'm just going to blend just a little right here. Hardly at all. Just to make sure it's. I mean, shit, you can do whatever you want. I'm not going to do this real, real precise, but now I need a little bit of black coal liner. Anyone will do, just not a like setting one because we're going to smudge this out. I'm going to do the waterline, tight line, all the, the good business into the lash line. Smooth, just smooth it all in there. And I'm going to close off the eye, too. So all the way into the inner corner. And the upper lash line as well. I'm going to do this on the upper lash line, too. All the way across. Okay, and then, did you see anything, when, I, I can't see what I'm doing, could you see what I'm doing? <laughs> this is like one of your first videos that you're watching of mine, I don't edit, so what you see is what you get, and what you get is what you clicked on, so give it a like if you want to. Oh, my jewel fell off, get back on there. We'll fix it later. I need to go back into the fluffy little uh, like packing brush. I'm going to dip into the second darkest shade. This one here, that like satiny one we did on the one side. Kind of loaded up pretty good. And we're going to smudge out this coal down here. I might feel this thing falling off again. And then smudge the top as well. Right along that line. With that shadow. All right, and we'll do the same to the other eye. Let me sharpen this just a touch. Where's my sharpener? Here you are. Here you are. Here you are. Okay. Let's do the other eye real quick. You don't have to pull super, super hard on your skin here. Just enough to get that little rim out. 
so you don't jab yourself in your eyeball. Kudos to those that can and without. I have not yet mastered that. So what do you do for Halloween, if anything? Oh, shit. You have any traditions in your family for Halloween? We don't really like traditional, traditional type of stuff. Just stuff with the kids. Now that the kids are older, though, you know, we don't do as much as we used to. Back into that shame so we can blendy, blendy, blendy. There goes my king. Everybody's all right. Like I said, it's all right if we got dark circles because we're adding a little to it here. Make sure you blend out that top. Don't burn down it. you have something a little like this? Ah! My nose is running. Wait, my, my nose is running. Sorry, that was unattractive, wasn't it? But snot isn't ever, is it? I don't think so. Let's continue, shall we? Ah! I do think I want to pick up um, another little brush, just a pencil one this time. Where's the, this one? It's a little elf blending brush. I'm going to take the lightest blue shade in here, this one on the end. Just right on the end of the brush. I'm going to tap it off pretty good. And I'm going to just run it here along the brow. palette is amazing. I want the green one now. I'm also going to take a little bit of that and put it in the inner corner here. Like so. Can you have something like this? Okay. Mm. Runny nose and muzzle nails. I'm going to. What am I going to do next? What do I want to do next? I'm looking for the thing that this. I'm going to put some green contour on, and I've already went and wetted my sponge. This is the Wet n Wild. Uh, what is it? Oak? Shit, I can't read it. But I'm going to do quite a bit. A little higher. You can see where my natural contour is. I'm going right above it. Like on the bone itself. I'm not going to do any contouring up here. But I am going to on my nose right here. And a little on my chin right here. And I'm just going to pounce it in. This is a little warm for what we're doing, but that's okay. She's gone dark. Maybe not completely, but... See how it just lifted <laughs> my face a little bit? That's what we're going for here. Move my hair out of the way. And you're going to blend up with it mostly. We don't want it to go down. We want it to go up, but no, that looks really, really orange, but that's okay. <laughs> It'll be alright. It'll blend into what we're doing next. We want this kind of contrast to the eye here. And there is more light coming in this side of my window, so it looks a little drastic. Let's get this chin here. Oh, 
don't worry, don't worry, we're not done with the complexion yet. I'm telling this mostly to myself because I don't know what I'm doing. But that's the best thing about makeup. You don't know, have to know what you're doing to make it fun. You know? What I mean? It washes off at the end of the day. You can experiment and play and just have all of the fun. Okay. Now I do want to the blush brush I want. Where is it? This one? No. Where is it? Hello. Hello. There it is. What's the thing that I want that I'm looking for? I'm going to dip into um, a little bit of this, like, uh, darker color here on the, my little blur, blush brush. Just a, like, a, like a tiny, tiny bit. And I'm going to dab it off on the back of my hand. And I'm just going to intensify this with this darker color here. I'm using y'all as my mirror, so bear with me. Back and down. I'm just gonna stick to that cream pretty good, but that's what we want. And we just want it right there in that hollow. With the leftover here. I'm gonna go. Oh, I flipped the earring off. That's okay. Just a little with this darker on the temples. Come here, earring. We'll put that back on in a minute. Don't let me forget, okay? So you have something that looks a little messy like this, but that's what we want. I'm gonna dust just a little bit of what I got left over here. Didn't mean to smell the brush like that, but I did, didn't I? Okay. Now, I'm going to use a little bit of my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder on a big old fluffy brush, like this. I'm going to tap some out into the lid, dip into here a little, like so, and I'm going to kind of sweep this on the under eye just slightly in where the highlighted portion of my face is going to be. Get that onto my nose, onto my forehead. And I'm going to dip in here and we're going to go right along this line like this. I'm going to look at the other one. Okay, so I'll get back on that. We're going to move on to highlighter real quick and we'll come back to more highlighter. I'm going to take a couple of different brushes here. Um, I've got a fluffy one like this that we're going to use and I've got this eyeliner brush that I'm going to use. Um, just any like tiny brush will work. I'm going to dip into my Solstice, my Sleek palette, and uh, the shimmery, like, purpley one on the fluffy brush. And I'm going to start, she might be dark, but she's 
you know, in between. We're gonna really highlight this shit right here. On the brow bone. I'm gonna take some and put it on the inner corner. And then I'm gonna put just a little on the end of my nose, but kind of like right here. And then a little right here. Now, with the other one, this little tiny one, I'm going to dip into the cream portion here. You don't have to do this. This is just extra, and I'm extra, and it's Halloween, and I can be extra, so we're going to be extra. I'm just going to make this line right here. Like... <laughs> you can see it a little, so we're gonna blend like just a little like this. Where it's sitting on top of the skin. We're just gonna get it and then we're gonna go back. I haven't dipped back in yet, I'm just adding it here. Now with the uh, wet sponge that we did everything with, I'm just going to tap over the top of that, just a little, not much. Now I'm going to go back into that black eyeliner. If you have liquid liner, do that. I don't, because I don't. And I'm going to use just the same coal liner that we did. What I'm going to do with it is we're going to make some lines here. I'm going to make one across the top of my nose like this. And another one right above it. Like that. Um, we'll do brows here in a minute, but I want to get these lines placed, and then I want to see how I want this to go. We're gonna go from kind of where this line is underneath it. Across right here. Doesn't have to. Oh, doesn't have to be perfect. I'll just hit that on the mirror. All right, and then we're gonna go under this highlight we did. And over here, we're going to do one, two. Alright, and then from, we're going to add, how do I want to do this? Okay, I think I want one more line here. In this line, I'm going to drag it down and kind of around my cheek here, like that. I'm going to take this one, do the same. Like that. I'm going to put one more here, and then I'm going to put a couple of dots. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, 
four, five. Okay, we're gonna pause on that a moment and we're gonna move on to the lips before I run out of time. I always seem to be running out of time. Oh, let's do mascara real quick. You can do black, I'm gonna do purple, and then for the lips, I have this color here. This is, don't, no, this is Alien. We're gonna put it on. This is NYX um, Liquid Suede, I believe. Oh, the black, dark gray here. Kind of like a dark green, blue shimmery color. You can add any color lip you want to. This takes me forever. kind of round out my top lip here. Like so. Okay, let's put some mascara on real quick. I've never tried this mascara before. It's purple, so we're going to see here. I'm actually going to run this through my brows. Let's get my hair out of the way. Since my brows are light, I'm going to use this to darken them up. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. I'm probably not going to put this on my eyes now that I've rubbed this all over my eyebrow. So we're gonna, just going to do black mascara. Or no, or no mascara if you want to. Totally up to you. I'm just going to fluff them out. Yeah, this definitely would have shown on my lashes anyhow, so... That's all right. I'll just comb these bad boys up. All right. Now let's add a little bit of regular mascara. I'm almost out of time. Um, I will leave my Instagram down below, or it's uh at the Poodle Queen. Look me up. I will have some pictures of this look on there. But this is pretty much it. You can add more accessories if you want to. Some ears. I got mine covered. Um, costume wise, that's totally up to you. Have fun. Halloween, that's what this is all about. It's, you know, having fun with makeup. I mean, why not? Let me add my jewel here. Let me put this down. You can add some lashes. You can add all kinds of stuff. Okay, let me get this on and we'll see what I look like. My time runs out. I kind of like it without now that I got all my stuff on. Hmm. Yeah. 
too long. That's okay. See, you can jazz it up, dress it up, however you want to. This is my dark elf look. Okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna put some lashes on and see about taking some pictures. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. I don't know what I'm actually gonna be for our party tomorrow. Um, this was just a fun kind of inspirational look around here. All right, I gotta go. Bye.